October 6 investment analysts at Morgan Stanley made no change to the company rating of equal weight, but moved up the price target to $43 from $27. QS Investors LLC bought a new stake in shares of Juno Therapeutics during the second quarter valued at about $135,000. Juno Therapeutics Inc. had 41 analyst reports since July 22, 2015 according to Stratton Sintel. In recent action, Juno Therapeutics Inc. Juno Therapeutics, Nasdaq Juno, last released its earnings results on Thursday, August 3. Vanguard Group Inc. boosted its stake in Juno Therapeutics by 2.1% in the second quarter. Copyright Violation Warning, Bailey Gifford & Company The biopharmaceutical company reported 73 cents earnings per share EPS, for the quarter, beating the consensus estimate of 80 cents by 7 cents. Moreover, private trust company NA has 2.81% invested in the company for 185,649 shares. Trademark Violation Notice This piece of content was published by Stock News Times and is owned by of Stock News Times. The stock has an average rating of hold and an average target price of $40.45. Finally, Leisure Capital Management purchased a new position in shares of Juno Therapeutics during the second quarter worth approximately $255,000. VET raised Juno Therapeutics from a buy rating to a strong buy rating in a research note on Tuesday, August 23. The original version of this piece of content can be accessed at https colon slash slash www.trueblueattribune.com slash 2017 slash 11 slash 01 slash bailey hyphen gifford hyphen co hyphen has hyphen 486 hyphen 66 hyphen million hyphen stake hyphen in hyphen juno hyphen therapeutics inc juno dot html. Bernard J. Cassidy General Counsel and Secretary sold $1,280,160 worth of shares at an average price of $45.72 on September 14. The shares were sold at an average price of $24.14, for a total value of $311,912.94. Zach's Investment Research lowered shares of Juno Therapeutics from a hold rating to a sell rating in a report on Monday, August 28. The stock grabbed 36 new institutional investments totaling 6,286,026 shares, while 23 institutional investors sold out their entire positions totaling 2,111,211 shares. Juno Therapeutics has a one-year low of $17.52 and a one-year high of $48.14. Nasdaq Juno shares have recently been behaving interestingly to keep investors awake. The sale was disclosed in a filing with the SECT, which is available at the SECT website. Shares are now up over the past year, outperforming the broad market by minus 100%, and outperformed a peer group of similar companies by 1,101%. Juno Therapeutics had a negative net margin of 354.36% and a negative return on equity of 27.10%. After this sale, 37,439 common shares of Juno are directly owned by the insider, with total stake valued at $1,808,678. Maxim Group reiterated a buy rating and set a $56 price target, up from $34, on shares of Juno Therapeutics in a research report on Monday, October 9. The business had revenue of $44.80 million during the quarter, compared to analyst estimates of $18.12 million. Juno Therapeutics revenue for the quarter was up 115.4% on a year-over-year -year basis. On August 31, the company was changed to reduce in a report from Standpoint Research down from the previous buy rating. Corporate insiders own 15.26% of the company's stock. The disclosure for this sale can be found here. Juno has diverse figures for different time frames, 
starting from week's performance it has positive performance of 12.19% in last five regular trading sessions. An RSI above 70 is an overbought indication and stocks are considered oversold at levels under 30. During the same period in the previous year, the business posted 57 cents earnings per share. This company has been competing with others in the healthcare space and offers its own combination of interesting factors Juno Therapeutics Incorporated. Want to see what other hedge funds are holding Juno? The firm is developing cell cancer immunotherapies based on its chimeric antigen receptor, CAR, and T-cell receptor, TCR, technologies to genetically engineer T-cells to recognize and kill cancer cells.